happy Wednesday. Um, I'm going to take you through a guided meditation, but first I'm just going to talk a little bit. Um, so we're all at home. Oh, and I am Shannon Sims. Um, I want you to think about why this is happening to you. Now, I know it's happening to all of us, but I want you to specifically think, why is the coronavirus, this particular situation, happening to me? Well, it's not really happening to me. It's happening for me. So why is it happening for me? What can I do? How can I offer the world something unique? And I was thinking about this the other day. This is a really great opportunity for us to step out of our role. So some of us are so busy being, you know, the mother that drives the kids to all their, you know, activities and their events, and they end up being the mother that's the chauffeur, the cook, the laundry person. Um, if you have a job, you are your job. If you are, you know, a, a daughter, um, you end up being the daughter and maybe helping your parents or do, and you take on these roles. And we take on these roles and we forget that I'm more than my role. I'm more than a, uh, a wife. I'm more than, you know, a son, a daughter. I'm more than, you know, a mother or a father. Um, I'm more than a friend. I'm more than an attorney or, you know, a fitness instructor or a teacher. Um, I'm more than that. So the cool thing about this situation is a lot of us are homebound and we're going through a little bit of identity crisis because we realize that all we do is what we thought our identity was, but we're so much more than that. So this is really an opportunity for us to think how much more I can be. And, you know, I have several people that have their, their parents that are in you know, homes and other people that are in hospitals and they can't go and be with their loved ones. They can't go and visit their parents. Um, they can't give them hugs. They can't do those things. But then I was also thinking about all the nurses and the doctors that can't visit their parents. And so they're with your parents. They're with the sick that are at the hospital. They get to be the moms, the dads, the daughters, the sons to all these people that aren't related to them. So we're being connected to each other as a bigger whole. And if I take myself out of my role um, as whatever you classify your role as. What can you be for the world? You know, how is this particular situation happened to change what your life is going to look like? And it maybe takes a little bit of meditation. Um, it might take a little bit of soul searching. It might take you thinking outside the box. So I saw this really cool video of a little girl and she was in um, Delhi, um, you know, in uh, India. And she was basically talking about what they're doing in isolation. And she filmed this little video about how they're embracing their isolation. And I thought, what a great opportunity for us to think about what are we doing in our isolation? How are we growing? How are we expanding? Um, and how maybe we can come out of our role or our identity and be so much more. Um, not only connected more necessarily to each other, 
but maybe take on a different role, um, something that I never thought I could be. And so it, it is in a way forcing us to step out of our shells, step out of our identity, um, and ask ourselves the bigger picture. What is life calling me to do? Um, and if you're not sure, write that down. You know, write down the question, what is life calling me to do? Um, what is my role in life? And not a role that puts you in a category as, again, mother, father, lawyer, doctor, but what is my greater purpose in this life? So why is this situation happening for me? What does life want me to learn? How does life want to help me have a richer and more full, enjoyable experience? And so I want you to just take a moment, maybe take your hands to your knees, close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. And sometimes as hard as it is, just clear your mind for a moment. And start focusing on just your breath, the simpleness of your breath. How it feels. Maybe the moisture or the dryness in through the nose. Feel how it changes your body a little. Feel your exhale. And kind of thinking about that this happens to your body every time you breathe. All of these actions, these changes are happening inside your body every time you take a breath. This expansiveness, this warmth, you might even be able to feel when you take an inhale, is there one nostril that is getting a little bit more air than the other. And on your exhale is one nostril pushing out more than the other. And so again, all of this is happening without me sometimes knowing it, without me recognizing that these actions are all taking place every time I breathe. And so, what else is happening in my life without me noticing it, without me recognizing the deeper change that's taking place? And so, realizing that as I have the opportunity to slow down a little bit, it heightens my awareness, it heightens my senses, and I can tap in a little bit more to maybe a bigger picture that's going on. And so again, maybe just starting off your meditation and just asking, why is this situation happening for me? And I, I ask you to use the word for, because for, if it's happening for you, it's a gift. If it's happening to you, it makes you a victim and it makes you um, a non-receptive party. And if I'm non-receptive, I'm going to push away 
even good things that could happen because I don't understand them and I'm kind of fearful of them. But if it's happening for me, it's kind of like a surprise. It's something that is good. It's something that is loving. Um, it's happening for my benefit, for my happiness, for my joy. And that's a welcoming thought. And so I realized with that preposition, it is a pretty important one. Um, it's happening for you, not to you. And so why is this situation happening for me, wherever I am at this moment? And then without trying to think of anything, and just allow your mind to clear. And if you notice that thoughts come in, it's okay. Just let them flutter away without judging them and see if you can keep kind of a cleanish slate, an open canvas. And a lot of times I find that the questions I ask inside my meditation don't often come to me in the meditation, but it allows my slate to be clean enough that the answers come to me in little ways all day long. And I get these, what I like to refer to as light bulb moments, where things become a little bit clearer and then I know I'm on the right path. I also ask you to, when you get one of those little light bulb moments, write them down. If you don't have a pen and paper in front of you, use the notes section of your phone and jot down the note as it comes into your head. And as quickly as it comes into your head, unfortunately, it as quickly exits. So it's pretty important to Note the answers as they arise. And just allow yourself to stay here. I'm kind of focusing on your breath. Maybe the soft energy you feel in your body. And invite that answer to come anytime it wants without having a timetable or a deadline. Right now, we don't have a lot of deadlines. Um, everything is a little bit more relaxed, probably for the first time in most of our lives. It's a little more relaxed. And instead of that being a negative thing in your life, find a way to embrace this moment. And find out why this situation is happening for you and how through this situation, you can expand your role, expand your impact on the world. This is a great opportunity to let other people know how they've impacted you and changed you. And we can reach out to each other and connect when we're disconnected. But sometimes it takes this out of the box thinking and some of us aren't very good at it. So we have to be taken out of our, our comfort zone and being out of our norm, out of our everyday habitual habits 
take us out of our comfort zone and put us into a new place where hopefully nothing will ever be the same. We have the opportunity to make things so much better for each other, for the world, that no matter who you are, what color you are, what race you are, what religion, what your age, your economic factors, all of us equally are impacted. And so it draws us into this unification, this worldwide connection to each other, that none of us could have seen. But I think all of us will be more connected and it gives us an opportunity to have a totally unique and different role. And so one more time, just Maybe stating to yourself, why is this situation happening for me? What is my role for the world? And breathe that in. And just know that this answer will come to you, that this will change your life forever and change all those around you and probably people you never thought you were reaching out to. And I invite you to stay here for as long as you would like in this meditation. Um, if you have enjoyed this, if it helped you, Feel free to share this post with other people that maybe they can help find their role and why this situation is happening for them. Um, remember, we are all connected and we're all connected in a new way through our disconnection, which, you know, is... Um, is lovely. Um, I know that's kind of an awkward word and it, it seems um, like it's not true, but it, it is. We, were, we will be more connected as a world through our, our disconnection. Um, and so thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to connect and, and share my, my thoughts with you. Um, I love each and every one of you, um, and this has helped me find um, my role and why this situation is happening for me, um, and thank you so much, and I have you have, hope you have a blessed and amazing day. All right, namaste.